Do you buy vinyl? Hey, I'm Chris Broderick of the band Act of Defiance. What's up everybody, I'm Henry Derrick from the band Act of Defiance. And this is what's in my bag. First we have Darren Aronofsky's mother. This is my kind of movie. This is fun for the whole family right here. Fun for the whole family? It's like a psychological horror film of sorts, but I think the general consensus on this was disgusting. <laughs> Maybe I'll borrow that from Well, now you have to see this. I'm gonna start off with this. I love coffee, and of course I love Iron Maiden. Yeah, we're, we're coffee whores in this band. Absolutely. You know, when we're on tour, we're brewing like three or four pots of coffee a day at the very least. This will probably be all used up in about a year. It'll be done. Well, don't break it. We have all these wild parties and I'll, stuff, so. I'll do my best. <laughs> coffee parties. Concrete Blonde, still in Hollywood, and it's true, we're still here. You guys are still here. So this is a collection of rarities and b-sides. I originally bought this on cassette in Milledgeville, Georgia at the Hatcher Square Mall. You know, growing up in a small town, like I remember just going to the music store and being disappointed every time. Discovered this band. This has been one of my favorite bands ever since. Criminally underrated this band. <laughs> This includes like the very best Leonard Cohen cover I've ever heard. Everybody knows which was on the, um, what's that Christian Slater film? It doesn't matter. Pump I'll pump up the, up the volume. volume. <laughs> yeah, I think it was included in that, but I could be wrong. Everybody knows. such a rock star, you know, you see her in interviews and everything, and she just has attitude for days. We work and we do our thing, but, you know, we will also, like, take a whole Sunday and just, like, you know, play in Agata de Vida for 45 minutes or something, which we did, actually, last Sunday. So this is Chick Corea, solo piano music. I've always been a, a semi-passive fan of Chick Corea's, and I love solo piano and standards, jazz standards, so this made absolute perfect sense. I can't wait to tear it out of this little thing here. They'll take it out of the thing for you and everything at the register. I'm getting this for the book because I have all the music. This is Washington Phillips. This is kind of, I don't want to say gospel, but it is gospel. I know it's going to scare a lot of people, but he was a blues man from Texas. He made his own instrument that was almost like an auto harp. I forget what it's called. It might actually be called a, a manzarine. As you leave and if you were to run, you may not be able to get back home But remember Jesus, who lives on high Is watching over you with a mighty eye I've never heard anything like his, his sound. It's just one vocal, one, you know, him playing this weird instrument. It's amazing. This is uh, Meshuggah's eye. This is one of their few CDs that I don't have. When I first stumbled onto Meshuga, it was almost like hearing a band that would compose music that I thought I was gonna compose before I had composed it, you know? I related to the music so much, and I had heard them when I was about to go on and play this show locally in Colorado where I grew up. The front of house guy had, had started playing their music on the PA before we went up and played. And I couldn't go on. I had to find out who, who it was, who they were playing. So I ran out to the front of house guy and I asked him and I'd started following him ever since then. You know, I really don't need this. This is kind of silly. This is Coil, a cold cell in Bangkok.
Coil is, I should say, were an industrial electronic band, but they were very experimental in their later years. It was originally recorded, I don't know, maybe 2008, but yeah, it's only one side, as you can see. But what's cool is 100% of the profits from this release will be donated to the Thai Children's Trust. And again, like this, this is something I don't need. It'll, it'll just sit on the shelf forever. But it's pretty. Byzantine. This was a band that I've wanted to pick up forever. They had a release during the time of our initial release. And I'm always curious, well, how does our CD sound compared sonically compared to other bands and stuff like that? And Byzantine was one of those bands that I think was really up there in terms of sonic quality. Oh yes, <laughs> Thor and Friends, the almighty <laughs> Thor. Not to be confused with a Canadian artist known as Thor. I, I do enjoy you know, his stuff too. But this is Thor from, I guess he's mostly known for his later work in Swans, one of my favorite bands of all time, and Ben Frost, Smog, Bill Callahan. He's an amazing musician and I like his hairy arms very much. I like his hat. got some heavy metal in that bag. Uh, not, not at the <laughs> moment. I'm ditching metal for a moment and I'm going flamenco. This is one of my all-time favorite guitarists, Paco de Lucia. Unfortunately, he passed away about two, maybe three years ago now. I think I was able to see him the last time that he played here in LA at the Disney Concert Hall. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, he never lets, lets you down, you know. He's such a phenomenal guitarist in the, the flamenco idiom. This is Bread Woman and Other Tales, and this is Anna Homler with uh, Steve Mosher. Anna Homler is a performance artist. I think she started in the early 80s, but then she ventured into music. The cool story about Bread Woman is that apparently she was influenced by the population of homeless women downtown Los Angeles. Oh, wow. The story is she saw this character and she was transformed in a way and she wanted to incorporate this character into her work. The crazy thing about Anna is that she developed her own language that she sings in and it sounds eerie and unlike anything I've heard. Ooh, yes, this is an artist that like, I, I feel like more people need to discover. Now back to the metal. Yeah. This is by Havoc. The riffs on this CD are crushing. The guitarists are really good. The drummer is phenomenal. Yeah. The singing is great. Everything is good on this CD. If you like thrash and you want to hear a newer thrash band, Havoc is definitely the way to go. Yeah, they're one of the few newer bands in that genre that I think are killing it. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, they're from my hometown of uh, Denver, Colorado, so props to you guys. Here we have William S. Burroughs. I've been on a crazy Burroughs kick lately. I was reading the Place of Dead Roads on tour and that got me wrapped up in this whole crazy world. This is a reissue on Superior Viaduct and I think this originally came out in the late 60s on ESP disc. There's no one like William S. Burroughs, not only as a writer, but his voice, his, like as a character. Finally, he's caught in the act of digesting the narcotics commissioner and destroyed with a flamethrower. The court of inquiry ruling that such means were justified in that the buyer had lost his human citizenship. It was, in consequence, a creature without species and a menace to the narcotics industry on all levels. I always think about guys like this and like what they would do otherwise. Right. You know, like they'd just be certifiably insane. Uh, you know? I definitely want to say the drugs helped him <laughs> great, greatly. Just for the record, Henry is not advocating any sort of drug use. No, no, unless it, 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 it makes Produces you, that? Yeah, unless it produces <laughs> great work. Sean will be very proud of this one. This is the newest Judas Priest CD album called Firepower. Firepower, Firepower A really strong 
critique of a lot of thrash bands, especially legacy thrash bands like this, was that they couldn't come up with anything that was as good as their earlier releases. You know, you heard that time to time, oh, but it's not as good as Screaming for Vengeance or whatever. At least the song Firepower that I've heard really harkens back to just the strength and the power that they had in the 80s. So I guess that's it. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Thank sure. You. Thank you. Yeah, it's really fun.